What's up? As promised, in this video I'm traveling. Before I would jump into this story, I need to explain why I did this. So when I was a kid, Christmas was really magical. But throughout the years, the magic somehow disappeared. And I don't want to be emotional here, but somehow I need to change my Christmas habit. And to do this, I need to spend my Christmas just like Kevin, in New York City. I traveled with a train, I traveled with a bus, I got really quick on the subway, and... I found myself in you Let's speed the story up a bit. <laughs> so today I'm in New York City, NYC 2018 tour. Because every single time when I'm coming to New York City, I'm coming with friends. Friends who've never been in New York City and uh, we always go to like Central Park and uh, Empire State Building and Statue of Liberty. But there are a lot of places what I want to see and it's not on their bucket list. So for this occasion only, I have the Manhattan map and a list of places that I want to visit. New York is not the best spot to visit during, during winter time. Because your ass will freeze in. But it's even today. It's beautiful. My first stop is the Irish Memorial Park. So behind me is the 368. If you're in YouTube, you probably know what's this place. This is where Bob Marley recorded his first studio album. And uh, this is where the Titanic was recorded. <laughs> sure. <laughs> there is the Staple Street Sky Bridge. The Doyer Street, aka the Bloody Angle, known for some gangster assassinations. I just bought the Louis Vuitton scarf in, in Chinatown. They said it's it's 100% original. <laughs> for 20 bucks, it's pretty acceptable. That's the Hess Triangle. It's private property. I think it's the smallest private property in the whole U.S. It's never been dedicated for public purpose. And this is where the How I Met Your Mother was filmed. I know, friends, friends. And here is the Washington Square Park. And this is where little Casper the ghost was in prison. Usually there's like a one hour line here, it's uh, Creep Dogs, bucket list, I'm here. I had New Yorker hot dogs before, but this one, oh my god. This is the restroom of the Creep Dog, it's like this big. <laughs> This is another place that I wanted to see. It's a Tim Burton themed restaurant. It's called Beetle House.
Hello. Oh, sorry. If you ever wondered how the Rockefeller Christmas tree looks like in 2018, well, this is how. So I'm here enjoying a beer and listening to my favorite type of music. Some type of a rapper is recording an audio clip, so... Hmm. Grand Central Terminal, bucket list, I'm here. Here are the whispering walls. I don't have anybody to whisper to, so I'm lonely. There's nobody here. Hello, subscribe to PewDiePie. According to the internet, every single night at 11.57 to 12, there's like an art gallery show on a Times Square. Basically every single TV and every single LCD shows some kind of an art. Well, let's see if this is true. So right now I'm heading to the, to the Times Square. So the art show should be legit. I just checked it on the Google. But for some reason today it wasn't showing up. I don't know why. I'll skip those footages because I don't have any. Still there is something that I want to check out here at Times Square. Yeah, that's uh, that's the Times Square hum. And the coolest thing is that this humming was installed without telling this to anyone. So, and whoever did this, Max Newhouse, he was like a real positive anarchist. Two more spots. I'm gonna go to another speakeasy and uh, I will go to a rock concert bar. Uh, let's go first to the to the rock bar. There's literally nobody yet in the subway. If I'm not going right now, what stories will I tell to my grandchildren? So I'm going right now. Last spot for tonight is the back room bar. It's another speakeasy. Uh, see you there. Well, this is the oldest speakeasy in New York City. <laughs> so let's see some history. I think I made reservation in the smallest room in whole Manhattan. It's literally like I'm this far from the camera and there's a bed. I walked 15.24 miles today and that's about 24.5 kilometers. It was a hostile day but it's worth it and I'm really grateful that I could have done this because these places were on my bucket list. I cannot look tired in a vlog, right? So, here you go. My New York tour is not over yet. I'll continue this tour tomorrow. I'll meet a couple of old friends and new friends tomorrow. If you want to see my New York bucket list part two, just click right here. And if I'm done with the editing, you can watch it right there. Uh, until then, make sure that you think less and you do more. And see you in my next video. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you.